Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to help you with our level five um, word problems in our subtraction unit. So this is what your assignment looks like, right? Six questions, and I should say you need to get five out of six correct. I made this one to kind of help you walk through it. What just happened? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the story problems are really similar, but the numbers are different. So I'm not going to give you the answers to your real level here. I'm just going to walk you through it and help you get the right answers. So it says Ben has 945 Pokemon cards. Dylan has 678 Pokemon cards. How many more Pokemon cards does Ben have than Dylan? So how many more? Here is your clue that this is going to be a subtraction problem. All right, so let's do the subtraction. So Ben has 945 Dylan has 678. You got to figure out how many more Ben has than Dylan. Okay, so I'm going to always start in my ones column. Five take away eight, I can't do, right? I got more on the floor down here, so I got to go next door and borrow. Okay, so I'm going to add 10 to my five. So 15 take away eight would be seven. Three take away seven, I can't do, so I'm going to need to borrow from here. I'm going to add 10 to this 3, so now I have 13 here in my 10s column. So 13 take away 7 would be 6, and then 8 take away 6 would be 2. So the answer would be 267. Okay, second example. This one says Kiara has 5,733 sticky notes. She gave away 1,299 sticky notes to her friends. How many sticky notes does Kiara have left? So in this case, how many does she have left? That's your clue. That this is going to be a subtraction problem. So I have my 5,733. Take away 1,299. Okay, and then I'm just going to remember to start in the ones column. Okay, so three take away nine I can't do because nine is the bigger number. So you're going to regroup. Three take away one is two. I'm going to add this 10 to the ones that are already here. So now I have 13. So now I have more on top. So there's no need to stop subtracting here. So 13 take away 9 would be 4. Okay, now I'm on to my 10s column. 2 take away 9. Can't do it, right, because 9 is a bigger number. So I'm going to have to borrow from over here. So 7 take away 1 would be 6. Now I'm going to add 10 to this 2 here. So now I have 12 in my 10s. 12 take away 9 would be 3. Six take away two, more on top, no need to stop, four, and five take away one would be four. All right, example three. Hey, Mr. Morse got 46,567 likes on his Sleeping Dog YouTube video, while Mrs. Walton got 108,623 likes on her YouTube video of her cat, Barbara. How many more likes did Miss Walton get than Mr. Morse? And also, guess who wrote this question? Not me. All right, so I have this many. Miss Walton has this many. How many more did she get than me? So in this one, I need to make sure the second number in the problem is on top, because that's the larger number, right? She had more likes in this fictional universe than I did. So 623, take away. 46,567. Okay, so now I'll start my ones. Three take away seven, I can't do. I'm going to have to regroup. 10 plus three is 13. So now I have 13 take away seven would be six. One take away six, I can't do. I'm going to have to regroup again. Six take away one is five. One or 10 plus one would be 11. 11 take away six would be five. Five take away five is zero. Remember my comma, eight, eight take away six would be two, zero take away four I can't do. So really I'm going to do, take this one here, put it here. So now I have 10 take away four would be six. So your answer would be 62,056. Remember, don't forget your comma when you type your answer in. Okay, a couple more. Okay, question four on Monday. 4,854 people went to Lagoon. Saturday, 12,801 people went to Lagoon. How many more, clue words, right? 
How many more people went to Lagoon on Saturday than on Monday? Okay, so again, even though this number comes first in your problem, it will not come first when you set it up, right? Because we're trying to figure out on Saturday how many more went. So the bigger number, 12,801, will need to come first. Take away 4,854. Also notice that I made sure my ones line up with my ones right here, right? Okay. And my tens and with my tens and hundreds and so on and so on. So make sure you line it up correctly if you have two digits that have, or two numbers that have a different amount of digits in it. All right, one take away four, I can't do. I cannot borrow from here. This zero has nothing to give, right? So you're gonna have to do it twice. You're gonna have to take one from your eight, move it near tens. Eight. Now you can regroup from here and place a 10 here. So a couple steps there, kind of tricky. So now you have 11 take away four would be seven. Nine take away five would be four. Seven take away eight, can't do, right? This number on the bottom is bigger, so you got to regroup again. There's a lot of steps on this one. A okay, 17 take away eight would be, what, nine? I'm sure to bring my comma down. Okay, one take away four I can't do, so you're gonna kind of take this one and shuffle it over here. And 11 take away 4 would be 7, or 7,947 more. All right, example 5, Tuesday, 7,978 people went to Lagoon. Friday, 10,720 people went to Lagoon. How many more people went to Lagoon on Friday and Tuesday? All right, so on Friday, we got 10,000. 720, take away 7,978. Okay, and I'm gonna just start my ones. Zero take away eight, I can't do. 10 take away eight would be two. One take away seven, I can't do. Okay, and then 10 plus one would be 11. 11 take away seven would be four. Six take away nine, oh my gosh, I have to regroup so many times because this number is bigger down here. I gotta borrow. Oh, there's nothing to borrow from here. I'm gonna have to move this guy. Okay, move one from here to here. 16 take away nine would be seven. Nine take away seven would be two. And zero take away nothing would be zero. So the answer would be 2,742. Woo! All right, last one. In 2017, 749,648 people went to Lagoon. In 2018, 902,327 people went to Lagoon. How many more people went to Lagoon in 2018 than in 2017? All right, so first thing I want to point out, how many more, clue word for subtraction. The other thing I want to point out, we're talking about years here. So in 2017, this is not a number that you're going to use in the equation. This is just telling you the year that this many people went to Lagoon, right? Same thing here. Don't be confused with the year numbers, right? This is just telling you how many went this or how this many people went in 2018. Okay, so we are not going to use these numbers to subtract. So the numbers we're going to be working with are here. Okay, so how many more people went to Lagoon in 2018 than 2017? So 2018 is our larger number, and 2017 would be 749,648. Okay, 7 take away 8, I can't do, in the group. 17 take away 8 would be 9. 1 take away 4, I can't do, got to regroup again. would be 7. Two take away six can't happen. Oh man, whoever made this problem is a mean teacher. Twelve take away six is six. Bring your comma down. One take away nine. Oh, we're making it regroup again. And across the zero. Ouch, Mrs. Walton, whoever she I'm pretty sure she made this, so complain of her, will you? Okay, so I moved one from my hundred thousands to my ten thousands. Now I gotta take one from my ten thousands and back <laughs> to my thousands. Eleven take away nine would be two. 9 take away 4 would be 5, 8 take away 7 would be 1. Woo, it's a lot of regrouping. Hey, 
when you do your levels, make sure you write large and make sure your ones line up with your ones, your tens line up with your tens, your hundreds with your hundreds, your thousands with thousands, ten thousands with ten thousands, and hundo thousands with your hundred thousands. That'll give you a lot better chance to get these right if you just write big and neatly. All right, good luck, you guys.